Ok, let's test our design on the D80 board. We will use the 7 segment display to verify our design. We use the 3 input button through edge detector to, to drive the input of a, our programmable timeout counter. So we use push button 0, 1 and 2 to drive this input. Then we use a counter to count the uh, how many pulse we generate, so how many time we uh, finish the loop of our state machine. And in the seven segment display we output the counter status, the internal counter status and the internal control logic status. So in this case in the first state the output is 1, the second state is 2, the third state is 3, in the re restart or reset state is F, as we can see on the on the code, on the VHDL code. The first one is 1, 2, 3 and F. Every time we pass from reset state we generate a pulse, the pulse is used to increment a counter. In the synchronous reset the present state is reset state, so after releasing the asynchronous reset we pass from the reset state, we are here, and go to the first state. Ok, let's see the top level code, where we have all the input of the D80 board, and we have the component programmable timeout, the 7 segment driver, this one, rising edge detector and the counter used to counter how many pulses we generate so how many times we, we run this loop the mapping is very simple we use the LED to detect if we push the button and detect the, uh, the status of the reset the reset is mapped on the dip switch 0, this one and we use a generate in order to instantiate this three edge detector. Remember that the push button, when the push button is released, the driven signal is high, so we need a knot in order to put high on the signal when we push the button. The seven, um, the counter is mapped on the seven segment display two, and is driven by the pulse generated by the programmable timeout. In this example we use first counter module. Four, so we need to push four times the button to go from state one to state two, three times from two to three, and five times to restart the loop. Every time we restart the loop, we count plus one using this counter, and the output of the internal counter status and internal finite, finite state machine status is outputted on the 7 segment 0 and 1 for the counter and 7 segment 3 this one. Ok, lay out the code running the Quartus 2 project file. You can see in the QSF file that we, are, we have the pinout of the FPGA and the, fi the file need to implement our design. Ok, run Quartus 2, here there are all the files and start compiling. Ok, just to have a look at to the static time analysis is 250 megahertz, so it is ok. Now it's time to program the board, so 
turn on the board, start the programmer and program the board. Okay, as you can see, we have we are in reset state. This one, in fact. under reset the present state is reset state and under reset state the output is f so release the reset and as you can see we are we are in this state we have counted plus one in fact releasing the reset we generate the first pulse because we go from this state to the state generating the pulse okay at, at this point we have programmed four time for the we have to push four time the push button one let's check one two if we if I try to push the other button you can see that the we stay in the first state so three four state two here so if I push the button one here I cannot detect the button the button one one two three and go to the state three I push the other button one two three four five first loop increment by two and go another one to the another time to the state one so one two three four and that's it reset and start again okay see you next time audio jungle audio jungle